I'm Eric Conner, live at the Arapahoe County Courthouse, where several of the victims' families were inside while the jury read the verdict they were waiting to hear. Guilty on all counts, including the family of Alexander Teves. And 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger talked with the Teves family today. And Marshall, this wasn't necessarily about closure for them. They just didn't want to see the shooter out on the streets ever again. There was a real concern by both Tom and Karen Teves that he would be found not guilty by reason of insanity and at some point, years later, would end up back on the street and their concern was that he might be able to do something like this all over again. Today, not about closure, but just that assurance that this person is going to uh, stay in jail at least or in prison for the rest of his life, if not be put to death. When Karen and Tom Teves left court after the verdict this afternoon, they knew one major part of their life still had not changed. It sucks to have your kid dead. It sucks and it'll never stop sucking. But they know the shooter who took their son Alex's life will never have a chance of being set free. Even though this is a great day, it really isn't. Alex is still dead. Are you, all these people are still dead. And all those injured are still injured. Verdict form count one. When the judge read the first guilty verdict, I watched Tom hold himself down in his chair. He spent much of the hearing staring down his son's killer. I don't know if you looked at him in, in, in court, but I watch them all the time. He doesn't care. On Sunday, the Teves will host what's become an annual beer festival in memory of Alex to raise money for the educational foundation they started in his name. I asked his dad if this verdict changes what Sunday represents. Alex is still dead. All today does is make us not have to worry what we would do if he got back on the street. When court recessed tonight, lead defense attorney Dan King quickly left before anyone else, rushing past the victims and the Teves. The public defenders had an epic fail. I guess that's why the lead guy ran out before, or else he'll probably say he had to go to the bathroom. But if I was him, I'd be pissing in my pants too. First degree. And Marshall is here with me now. Marshall, we were both there the day this shooting happened. You've been staying in touch with a lot of the victims' families. We heard from them today. Very emotional day in the courtroom. You've been covering this since day one. Give our viewers kind of a sense of what it was like to be inside that courtroom today. Well, when the first verdict was read and that guilty uh, verdict was read, no one made a loud sound because the judge had warned about uh, audible outbursts. Sure. But you could hear some gas. And I looked over, after I looked at the parents of the shooter, the first person I made eye contact with was, was Tom. And he grabbed his seat. And I don't know what that was, if he was trying to hold himself from getting up. Right behind him, Josh Nolan was crying a little bit. He's the guy who walks with a cane. and He gave a fist pump. Hmm. Uh, Tom Sullivan, uh, the father of Alex Sullivan, made eye contact with one of the prosecutors. And she just smiled and he nodded his head. and. I mean, it was one of those, you're happy, but you still realize you're missing your loved one. Wow. Well, certainly an emotional day for them. Some of them say that they got the closure they were waiting for today, but definitely an emotionally draining day for everyone involved in this. But we are getting closer to ending this terrible chapter in Colorado's history. Now it's to the sentencing phase, Anne.